Hello, Critter Protectors, Mr. Jim here, and welcome to Kids Animal Stories, a place where there's always a mystery and adventure around every single corner. If you love critters of all shapes and sizes, I need you on our Critter Protector team. Join our adventure as we learn about critters from around the world and in our backyards. Well, my friends, are you ready for today's adventure? Me too! Let's go! On our last adventure, we traveled to the tropical islands of Fiji and met Tina, the Fijian crested iguana. It was a very important day for Tina because she was going to lay her eggs and meet her babies, or so she thought. She found the perfect spot for them to hatch, a hidden stream with lots of soft moss on the ground and light coming through the trees. There was just uh, one problem. The eggs were not hatching as quickly as she wanted them to. Let's find out what's going to happen next. The sun was setting and Tina was getting very worried. She tried to encourage her eggs to speed things up. Come on, little babies. Hatch! 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 Nothing happened. <gasps> I must have done something wrong! Why are my eggs not hatching? I thought I was going to meet my babies today! Tears fell from Tina's eyes and dripped onto the moss below. <sighs> Suddenly, through her sniffles, she heard a noise. Ooh, ooh. Uh, hello? Is so someone there? Just as Tina finished her question, a small, bright orange bird with a green head flapped down from the treetops and landed next to her on the ground. It's only me, dear, said the little bird. Who are you? My name is Boo Boo. I was flying by and I couldn't help but notice you look sad. You got that right. I just laid my eggs today and I was so excited to meet my babies, but it's been hours and they haven't hatched yet. There, there, dear, crooned Boo Boo as she patted Tina on the back with her wing. Waiting can be so difficult, especially when you want something badly. Tina nodded and took a deep breath. I'm just afraid I did something wrong. I tried so hard to find the perfect place for the eggs to hatch. Maybe did I pick the wrong spot? It's all my fault. That's why my babies aren't coming out of the eggs, aren't they? Now, now, don't be silly. I'm sure that's not it. This is a perfect place for hatchlings to play. Now let me think. Ah, yes, that's it. I had a friend once who was a crested iguana just like you. She said that it took her babies nine months to come out of their eggs. <laughs> Nine months? That's almost a whole year. That, that can't be right. Right you are. I have lived on this island for many years and have learned that sometimes the best things take time. Your little ones need many days to grow strong before they are ready to hatch. The best you can do is protect them until then. Listening to the wise bird's words made Tina feel relieved, sad, and determined all at the same time. She was glad it didn't seem like she had done anything wrong. And she was sad, though, that it would be a long time before she could meet her babies. And she was prepared to watch over her eggs for as much time as they needed. 
You best get some rest, little lizard, said Boo Boo. I will be back to check on you in the morning. Tina climbed slowly into a tree overlooking her nest and drifted off to sleep. The next morning, Tina scurried down from her tree and walked over to the spot where her eggs were buried underground. Good morning, little ones. Today, I am one day closer to meeting you. As promised, Boo Boo came swooping in to check on her new friend. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, eggs. The rest of the day felt very long to Tina. Boo Boo watched over the nest while she foraged for food and had a drink from the stream. After that, the bird flew off and Tina was left to watch over her eggs from a nearby tree branch. She passed the time by imagining all the fun things she would do with her babies once they hatched. She waited and waited and waited some more. When it got dark, Tina climbed down her tree, patted the ground covering her eggs gently and told her babies, Good night. Days and weeks and months passed by. Every morning, Tina hoped that she would be greeted by her brand new babies, but every morning, all she saw was her nest. Then, finally, after 273 days, Tina woke up to a cracking noise. <sighs> it's final happening. Today is the day I meet my babies. Tina rushed down the tree to the spot where she laid her eggs underground. She could see the soil beginning to move and shake until... Out popped three baby iguana heads. The little hatchlings used their arms and legs to climb out of the dirt and run to their mother. My babies, my precious babies, you are the most wonderful and beautiful things I've ever seen. I'm so glad I waited for you. I'm so glad that Tina's babies have finally hatched, aren't you? She's waited a very long time to meet them, but it was all worth it in the end. The end. It's time for some very special Critter Protector shout-outs. I want to say to River from Arkansas, Kenna and Caden from Colorado, Benjamin from South Carolina, Maxwell from Oregon, Lily from Florida, and Ethan from Minnesota. Wow, friends, I'm so glad that we have you on our Critter Protector team. We could not protect all the critters in the world and in our backyards without you, my friends. If you want to join our Critter Protector team, have your parents check down in the show notes below to register for your free Critter Protector badge in the mail. And I'll give you a very special shout out on the episode. Well, friends, I hope you have a special day and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.